Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I know I am. And so what we're going to be building today is we are going to be building this wonderful barn that you see right here. Um, it does get pretty tricky in some parts, but I'm going to do my best to help you guys on it. Also, please remember to like and subscribe if you're not already. We're really close to hitting 400 subscribers and I can't believe we've made it this far. Um, and so thank you guys and let's get started with this build. Alright, so this is the blocks that you're going to be needing for to do this barn. Easy blocks to find in your world. Hopefully you have some left over so you can build this and right here is going to be our build template. Pretty simple, mainly just three, three block spaces in between every one. And so let's get started. Okay, so starting off right on this corner, we're gonna go up by five with our stone bricks, just like this, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're just gonna cover basically all of these that have the blue wool on the outside of the purple, kind of all surrounded. So like on these, we also go up by five, just like that. And let me quickly show you what I'm talking about. So this is basically what I was talking about, how you go up by five on all the purple blocks that are kind of surrounded by the blue wool, except on these ones or the just the middle ones, you can still surround them. And then right here, we're gonna go up by, with stone right here, just by five also. And also right here, we're also gonna go up by five. And we'll leave, actually let's go up by five here also just like this and same right here just to give it that nice structural support all right so there we go we have that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a stone block right here at the base of each of these pillars on the outside of the building like this just by one block and just go all around on the outside we're not doing any of the inside blocks but just on the outside we're gonna cover these pillars uh, we're gonna surround the base with stone brick and now we're gonna get our stone brick stairs and put one right on top of that stone brick All right, so this is what it should look like when you have all of those stairs placed now What we're gonna do up next is you see every single one of these one by three lines with the blue and purple wool Well, we're gonna place a one uh, One stone block on each of those and basically just surround this whole thing except for this little square that you see here so we're just going to go all around where you see this blue and purple wool and we're just going to um, put one block of stone brick on it and we're also going to do it on the inside as well. Now once you have that, while leaving this area open, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to come up with our stone brick and basically just fill in all of these, wool, uh, all of these walls on all sides up to five. So basically we're just going to make a big box and let me show you what that'll look like. All right, so this is what your small little box should look like. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here where you place these small little walls and we're gonna place an upside down stone brick stair, just like this. And we're gonna bring it down by three, just like that. And same over here. And we're just gonna basically go all around this build where we place these stone bricks and just go upside down with them except on the middle area and I'll show you what we're gonna do there just in a second. All right, so now that we have all the outside complete, we're gonna fill in the inside. So these four walls right here, we're gonna get our stone brick slab and just come across here with it just by three and it'll give it this nice little detailed design to it and it'll make it feel more open inside and it'll look really nice. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our stone brick stairs again and we're just gonna come in this little area to make a little doorway. We're gonna place an upside down stair here and here, just on the very top block. And we're gonna do the same thing right over here and here. And then next up, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place one right in the front, just like that as well. And we're gonna do the same right on this side, just like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our spruce trap door and basically just fill in this side right here with it and bring it down and you can we can even make these look like they're doors and everything but i'm just going to put this uh as it for now just to make it look really open and we're going to do the same right over here on this side now that we have it on this side we're going to place some right in between these two blocks just like that in between those two stone brick stairs and we're just going to get our uh upside down uh stone brick stair and place it right there and basically just make a ton of archways in between these brick pillars in here. 
and it'll look really nice to add some detail and support structure to it. So we're just going to place basically these beams all around, except the ones pointing in on the inside. We'll do that stuff later. And we're going to leave these four inside pillars alone. So basically we're just going to repeat this archway style all around the outside of the barn. Now that we have all of those stairs placed, it should look similar to this where there's no stairs pointing inwards. And then next up what we're going to do is we're just going to come in over here and place spruce trap doors surrounding this entire pillar. And we're going to basically do this on all of those four corners that we have. So including this one. So on that one there, that one there, and that one there. We're just going to place two spruce trap doors going up on every single side that's open. Now that we have that, it's starting to look really nice with all of these cool pillars kind of. And now what we're going to do is we're going to basically do the same thing on the in, on the middle pillars like right here and maybe even right here. But we're just going to cover the outside ones, the ones facing outside. We're not going to cover any of the ones facing inside, so we're going to leave this side blank. And we're just going to basically do this design on all of these pillars that we have so far. Now that we have all of those spruce trap doors placed, we're going to get our oak log and we're just going to come to the very center of these pillars and basically just place an oak log just like that and go all around this entire structure just placing oak logs just straight up, uh, just by one though, and it should look something like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually a uh, cross beam right here and basically just we're gonna do a big cross beam all along this barn area and we're gonna make like a big outline out of oak wood and so it'll look something like yeah so it'll look something like this and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna top this off by getting our oak log and just placing a beam that goes outwards like this and we're just going to bring this across that goes outwards all like this. And we're just going to do this on all sides of this barn. And it'll make the logs really pop out. And it will kind of hide the stone a little bit, but at the same time bring out new colors and textures within it. So now that we have all of these logs placed, we're going to get our spruce stairs and our spruce trap door and our stone button. And we're just going to come into the center of this barn and we have a four block area to work with. And so we're going to place a upside down spruce stair just like this on both sides and get a trap door and place it just like that right there. And we're going to do the same archway design on all of these areas and same right over here. We're going to repeat it on the opposite side, but we're going to leave these sides of the barn empty because that's where we're going to put our sloped roof at. Now that we have those archways down, we're going to get our stone button and then we're just going to place a button on every single one of these logs popping out that we see. And we're also going to do this on the side areas right here and it'll look just like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our dark oak stair and our dark oak trap door and our dark oak slab. So that we're going to be working on the frame of the roof right now um, and we're going to get first we're going to start on the side areas right here and so we're going to place an upside down stair just like this and then same thing right over here, over here and over here. And so next up, what we're going to do is we're going to do basically the same archways that we did here, but with dark oak. And then we're just going to place a dark oak trap door in the middle, just like that. And we're going to do this on this side and on the opposite side, right over there. Now that we have that, we're going to get our dark oak trap door again. And we're just going to place it on the top of this oak log right here. And all along these oak logs just like that and then same right over here we're gonna do it just like this oops and now what we're gonna do that we have that is we're gonna place some on these dark oak trap doors just right on top of them just like this and the same right over here just like that and it'll look really cool when we actually begin to do the actual roof part so we're just gonna do the same right here it's like it has this really nice finish to it and so that's basically the edge of the roof and now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the main frame of it now before we actually work on the main frame what i forgot to do is we're actually going to do the middle piece 
and we're just gonna go up by one story with our oak logs and basically build a little storage compartment. Okay, so to start off with this middle, we're gonna get our oak log and we're just gonna put one facing upwards on each of these stone pillars that we have right there. And we're actually gonna place some right there just as well. So it'll look like this, you have six of them. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross beam right here, right here, and also right there and then we're just going to repeat this pattern on that one area this area this area and basically we're just going to cross beam all of these logs together so they just form a ton of three by three squares okay so now that we have that we're going to get our spruce trap door and then we're just going to come down here to where we made these archways with the spruce trap doors and we're just going to place a spruce trap door on the top just like that and we're going to do this on all of the arches that we have so far and so it'll look similar to, so it'll look something similar to this where like you have the full complete archway with the spruce trap doors and it looks really nice. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do these same arches that we have here, but on the inside, just right here. And we're actually gonna do this on all sides, including right here as well. And we're just gonna basically do this underneath every single log that we have. Um, and even in this little corridor area, we're gonna do it. And so let me show you what that'll look like once you have all of those placed. All right, so this is what it should look like once you're finished with placing all of those trap doors and stone stairs, and it should look just like this. And we actually got rid of these two lower trap doors right here and right here. And it was mainly just to match up with these other um, pillars, but you don't, you can leave those if you want and maybe even add some on right here. I just left them off so when we place a gate right here, it looks really nice. And so next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually start on our second story. Okay, so what you're gonna need for your second story is you're gonna need oak planks, stone, uh, stripped oak wood, um, barrel, spruce trap door, a oak stair, and let's see, what else are we missing? We need stripped spruce log as well and yeah that should be all that we need all right so first what we're going to do is we are going to bring this area up right here just by one the center area with our oak log just like this and this is going to raise it up just by one block and we're actually going to raise it up by another two so just like this and it'll make it so the roof has a really nice curve to it and it'll just make your build look a lot unique and different from other barns and other things that you'll find online. And now what we're going to do is cross beam right there and we're going to basically just cross beam all of these logs that we have here so far. So like right there as well. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to get our oak planks and we're just going to fill in this little gap right here with our oak planks just like this on all of the sides that we have except on the inside area we'll do that later but for now we're just going to place oak planks on the outside just like that and so next up what we're going to do is we are actually going to be starting on okay so one thing i actually wanted to do before we do the whole second story is i want to finish doing the roof so we know like where all of this stuff is gonna go and so let's start by getting our dark oak slab our dark oak stairs and our dark oak trap doors and so first we're gonna just get our dark oak slab and come in right over this little oak log and place a slab and right over here also and then we're just gonna basically go up at kind of like an angle and we're just gonna head towards these little center blocks just like this and then just a slab right under there. So you have this nice arch so far. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat this design on the same uh, side, just opposite of it. You can use slabs if you want for this. I am going to use slabs, so, but you can also use a dark oak uh, wooden plank for this. And we're just gonna go up by one block just like that on all sides, basically. Let's just do it for now on this side. And then we're gonna get our dark oak stair and put it on the top and just kind of do your traditional medieval style roof by putting another stair underneath and then just repeating the pattern all over again until you meet in the middle and that's where we're going to place our log and it'll be a nice detail because we're going to pop it out of the middle. Alright, so now that we've met in the middle, we're going to get our dark oak stair, place it right underneath there and then we're going to get our oak log and just pop it out like that and actually let's use our stripped spruce log just like this and pop it out right there and let's bring it out 
by one again and we're just gonna bring this all the way down to the other side I'd say that's about good and we're just gonna repeat this roof pattern on this side right here all right so now that we have that we are gonna come down here and get our stone button and we're just gonna place it on the very end of the log just like that and we're gonna do the same thing right there and then we're gonna surround this block right behind it with spruce trap doors just like this and then the same right over here just like this and then we're gonna get our dark oak slab and we're just gonna basically be skipping one along this center beam and then we're gonna get our dark oak trap door and bring it right through the center of those slabs that we just placed and so there's basically the outline of our roof and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mainly focus on this second story area. Okay, so these items in my inventory box are the items that you're going to be needing to build this little second story kind of storage compartment. And so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our oak log and right here we're gonna go up by four. So one, two, three, four. And we're just gonna go up by four on basically all of these right here. And we're actually gonna do all of these on those beams right there and these beams right here. All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna cross beam right here and right here and also right here. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. So just like that, that, and that. And then we're gonna place a pop out log right here, 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 and also right over here. So just like this. And then we're gonna get our spruce stair and place it right underneath it just like this and then we're going to get our trap door and place two of them underneath that spruce stair so it'll look something similar to this and we're just going to repeat this pattern on the same exact side although one thing i forgot to add is we need to get a stone button and place it right on this log just like that so did the same pattern, but on the other side over there. So now that we have that, we're gonna get our oak planks and basically just fill in this whole area. Except for this middle part, we're gonna place a upside down oak stair just like that. And we're just gonna repeat this thing on these two right here and these three right there. So now that we have those windows, we're just gonna place glass right in there just like that. And then we're just gonna do the same thing right over here. So there we're actually going to get our dark oak stair and our dark oak slab and our dark oak trap door. And what we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to place a upside down stair under there and one right under there and one right there. And then we're just going to place two dark oak slabs right there and a trap door right there. And then we're just gonna repeat that same thing right on this side. Once we have that, we're gonna place a trap door right there and a trap door right there. And then we're just gonna do the same thing right over here. Boom and boom, just like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our oak planks and place two right there just to cover up this little area and so it matches with those. And we're gonna do the same thing right here. Same thing right here and same thing right over here and you can even replace these logs in the middle with barrels um i'm not going to and i don't think you should if you're doing it in a survival world because it can be very material cost effective and so i think this is perfect if you just use oak logs now what we're going to do is we're going to get our spruce trap door and place one right on the top of this right here and also basically we're just going to cover all of this area with spruce trap doors just like that and we're going to do the same thing on the back right here just like this all right so that we now that we have that we are going to get our barrel let's go get our barrel and we're also going to get our grass block spruce trap door and spruce stair and so first we're going to place a barrel there and a barrel there and we're just gonna place a spruce stair just like that and also three gla grass blocks just like that and we're gonna put trap doors on it just so it stays like that and we're just gonna repeat it right over here and it'll give it this really nice flower box um, look effect to it 
and it'll also add some more color to your build if you add some like nice berry bushes or flowers. So next up what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring this oak log up all the way and same with this one and that one and that one. And we're also going to place one right here just like that and let's actually bring it down so it's the same height as that one. And also right here, uh, we don't need to put one there or there. Let's do that there and that there. And now we're going to get our stripped oak wood and just go up the same height just like that. And then we're just going to do the same thing right over here. And on this one, we're going to actually go up to there just so it's like, um, it's not peeking out at all. So we can easily place the roof on top. Same right there. And yeah, you can also put that up to full blocks just like that. And next up, what we're going to do is we're going to poke a little window through here. So we're going to get rid of these two blocks and then also this one up here. And we're just going to put an upside down stair just like that. And so we have a nice little window right there. And you can put oak trap doors or glass, whatever you're going to use. I will use glass um, just because it's my personal preference. Uh, you can even use stained glasses, which will look nice. Uh, but anyway, you just want to repeat this pattern that we did right there on this side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do some finish, basically, on these little open areas. Because we're going to add a roof over this. And um, so what we're going to need for that is we're going to need just dark oak stairs and dark oak trap doors. So you're not going to need any slabs. And so first what we're going to do is we are going to place a dark oak stair just like that. And we're going to kind of repeat this pattern that we did right here. And we're actually going to repeat this pattern. Um, but we're just going to do it with dark oak instead. So I'll show you what it should look like when you're finished. And actually what we're going to do is we're not going to place any trapdoors on this block right here. Or ones on the middle like here. So none there on those two. But on the rest of them we'll put some. So now that we have that it should look something like this. And we're just going to repeat this pattern on that side right over there. So once we have that we're going to go down and get our dark oak slabs. Because now we're going to actually do the whole roof area. So first what we're going to do is we're just going to bring out our dark oak stairs just like that. And same on this side just like that. And then we're just going to kind of copy this archway something similar to it at least right over here so we're just going to place a dark oak slab there another one there and then we're just going to put a full block there and then we're just slowly arching this in just like that and then now what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going up till we hit the very center just like this and i don't think we're going to use any log for that so we're just going to get our normal oak log and place one right there go up by two there go up by three there and then back down to two and back down to one so we have that nice little pattern right there and now what we're going to do is we're going to get our stripped oak and place some right there right there and right there good so now that you have that we're just going to repeat this trim that we have there this roof on that side right here so once we have that we're just going to put a cross beam from this log and bring it over all the way to this log just like that and then we're going to get our dark oak stair place it right there and place another one right there and then we're also going to place a slab right there in the middle and the one right there and then we're just going to put place a dark oak trap door right there and right there and we can actually get rid of this right here and these two. Or we can place those with stairs and we can just put a, let's see, let's go get our spruce, um, our strip spruce log. We're just going to place it in the middle and we're just going to surround it with our dark oak trap door. And we're just going to leave that there for now. Later we'll do something with that and it could maybe change the whole look and theme of this. And it's basically just going to be a flagpole. And so if you want to add it, you could do what I did or just leave it as it is. Um, but this is what I did in that ultimate survival base. So I asked if you guys wanted to see the flagpole also. And you said yes. And so that's what we're going to do. So now what we're going to work on is the actual roof portion. So we're going to get our spruce stair, spruce slab, and spruce trapdoor. And that's all we're going to need. And we're just going to work on this little slanted area. And so first we're going to place our stair right there and a stair right there. 
And we're also gonna do the same right here and right there. And also, and we can even put oak logs right there because this is all gonna be covered up for this ceiling over here. And then next up, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place a spruce slab. And actually we can place a full block here also. So we're just gonna do kind of what we did to form this roof. We're just gonna basically repeat it, but with spruce slabs. And we're gonna basically do this every other one so something like that and then we're also going to do it right here just like this and you can just put a placeholder there and we're just going to basically repeat this design all in these uh, other two squares so now that we have that we're going to get our spruce stair and our spruce trap door and we're just going to come in here and place a spruce stair and kind of like uh one block in and we're just going to do the same right here right there all along here and then next up what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our spruce trap door and place one basically everywhere that we didn't put a block and kind of just in front of the stairs and there you go you have your little slanted roof and we're just gonna repeat this pattern on the other side right over here okay so now that we have that on this side as well what we're going to do is we're going to work on this part of the roof now this part can get kind of tricky so i'm going to do my best for you guys to follow along um so what we're going to do is we're just going to start off with our slab and kind of just repeat that pattern that we did down there but we're going to bring it up a lot more um just like that basically filling it in with slabs uh, until you reach the same line as this roof uh, trim and then so once we do that we're gonna get our stair and basically we're just gonna do the same thing that we did down there like I said before and yeah it's pretty simple from there the tricky part is is building this area and merging it with this roof but I'm gonna try my best to help you guys walk through it and Hopefully it'll be as easy as possible now that we have that we're gonna repeat this right over here onto this side All right, so now what that we have all of that placed. We're gonna start by um, Just going up by One block and we're just gonna repeat this actually right here, but with spruce and we're gonna do this on the rest of those three sides just like this and we're just gonna do this on the other two sides. So once we have all of that placed, we're gonna start by making mixing it up a little bit. This is where it gets tricky. So first we're just gonna place a trap door there and one on top of it. And we're not gonna switch this one on top of it. We're just gonna move this one down there and we're gonna do the same right there, just like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna place one right up here, just like that. And then we're just going to face this way and place two down, facing down. And we're just going to move those. And so it'll look like that. And we're just going to basically repeat this thing on all of the other sides that we have. So it'll make kind of this weird L shape. Um, and so let me show you what that'll look like once you have those placed. All right, nice. So now that we have that, we're just going to basically repeat this thing, same thing, but in here. And we're actually not going to go up. Uh, we're not going to place a slab underneath it we're just going to basically just place a stair um and then we're just gonna place a slab or um plank if you use that and we're just going to basically do the same thing on all of these sides right here so it'll look something like this but on that side also right back here and also one thing that you're going to want to do right after you do that is you're just going to repeat this um, going up with spruce slabs just like we did here but we're gonna do it right there and we're just gonna do the same thing on this side as well just like that so you can screenshot this if you want um, and you'll be able to use it for this side as well so now that we have that we're gonna get our spruce trap door we're just gonna repeat this same thing that we did here but over here Let's see, let's place an upside down trap door there and then just one right underneath it, just like that. And then we're just gonna do the same thing right here, upside down and another upside down and then just flip it forward. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place, we're gonna repeat this right here over to here, 
just like this. And then we can just put a trap door in the middle, just like that. And so that basically fixes up this whole roof. And then so you're just gonna wanna do this, but on this side right here. So there you have your nice fancy roof and you're probably wondering what these items are in my hotbar. And these are optional items. And so this is these are items to build a flagpole in the middle just to let people know that um, they're in your kingdom basically and that you own this barn. And so basically what you're gonna need for this are all of these materials. And so first we're gonna place a barrel right there. And then we're just gonna go up by however many we want. I'm gonna go up by four, and I'm gonna place another barrel on top. And then what you can do, you can even place signs on all of these sides right here, just like this. And you can also do it on the top. I like the bottom though showing, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our polished blackstone, blackstone brick wall. And just place it right there and go up by two with our spruce fence just like that and then by one with our iron bar so it stays like that and then we're gonna get our blue wool or any type of wool just two different colors and we're gonna place a let's see which way are the clouds moving let's say they are moving well I'm not really sure I'm guessing they're moving that way and so we're gonna place our flag fl facing that way and so first we're going to place it right here, a block of blue wool, and then we're just going to come down one. These are placeholder blocks by the way, so just one right there. And then we're just going to place another one. Let's see, where should we place this one? Let's see, let's place it right here. Yeah, like that. And then we're just going to place one right there. So there you go, there's your flag. You can also do it however other design you want. Um, and yeah, so this is basically just the barn. And I will quickly fix up the interior just to give you guys some extra inspiration. And so let me show you what I have in store for you guys. And now this is what it should look like after you basically, you know, trim up the place with some detail and stuff. We actually, one thing we changed is we got rid of that oak, uh, these oak planks that we had here, and we just replaced them with some spruce gates, and it made it actually look really cool, so I decided to keep that look. And we also brought it inside, uh, and it looks really nice. And for we added some nice flooring in here, and we also added some nice lights. We also uh, detailed up these animal pens a little bit, uh, and... I love these chicken nests that we made. Um, and this little room right here is basically where you can get all your work done. You have a timer, you have some paintings in here, you have your leather worker stuff, um, a cauldron with some water in it, uh, and some smokers in case you want to cook some food. Although, <laughs> now that I think about it, it'd be a better idea to do it up here so the animals don't see <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> because there are l little tiny windows that I added right over here so the horses can stare in. And I even added some saddles and leads but on both sides for, you know, in case you want two horses. But you can do whatever you want in these animal pens. I also did um, some detail and exterior stuff on the side of this barn just by adding like some chopped firewood or something. Over here, I added an extra anvil and some extra barrels full of junk and stuff. Some extra hay. And over here, we just added a ton of nice flowers and a ton of cool landscaping areas. We even added a bell up here. And that came out really nice. And we also added this workbench station. So in case you want to make some name tags or something for your animals, you can easily do that. And... We also have this little storage area up here. We have some nice red carpet scattered all around the place. We have this ender chest. Um, and yeah, just some more junk stuff in here. And also we did the same we did the same design for the ceilings in here as we did down on the floor. All right, and that is it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this build. I hope you guys add it to your world. And also please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps out a lot. And I'll see you guys all on the next video.